In this video, we will solve a one problem using the Rayleigh method on dimensional analysis. So, in previous video, we know how to solve the problem using Rayleigh's method. Let us solve this problem using that method. And the problem is the time period T, time period T of a pendulum depends upon the depends upon the length L of the pendulum and acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity G derive an expression for the time period. So, this is the problem they are given. So, in the problem, let us read one problem one time. So, the time period T of a pendulum depends upon, that means it the time period is depend upon some other terms. So, time period T is a dependent variable. So, time period T depends upon on which one length L and acceleration due to gravity G. So, time period T is depend upon the length L and acceleration due to gravity G. So, here we have number of variables 3 only. Time period T is one variable, length L is one variable and acceleration due to gravity G is one variable. So, total number of variables 3 only. So, up to 4 variables we can use the Rayleigh's method. So, these are 3 variables. So, we can solve the problem using Rayleigh's method. So, in last video, I already write down the equation that is if x is a variable, dependent variable depends upon x1, x2, x3, then the equation is dependent variable x is equal to constant k multiplies by x power x1 power a multiplies by x2 power b multiplies by x3 power c, where these a, b, c are the arbitrary constants and x1, x2, x3 are the independent variables and x is a dependent variables. Comparing this equation with the problem given now, in place of x dependent variable we have time period t and in place of independent variables we have length l and g. So, let us write this equation. So, dependent variable time t is equal to constant k multiplies by l power a multiplies by g power b. So, A, B are the arbitrary constants. We have to find using uh, comparing the powers of fundamental quantities on both sides. So, let us write down the fundamental formula for each uh, term. For time t, it is seconds. Time is measured in seconds. So, the fundamental quantity is also t only. So, it will be t itself multiplies by k and next. For length L, length itself is a fundamental quantity. So, it will be length. So, L, L power A. And for G, acceleration due to gravity, the fundamental quantities are L t power minus 2 because units are meter per second square. So, for meter length and for second square t power minus 2. So, L t power minus 2 whole power B. Here time power 1. So, now we got the equation of both left hand side and right hand side. We have to compare the equation of uh, both the terms on both sides. So, comparing the powers of fundamental quantities, those are the mass, ma, first fundamental quantity that is mass m. So, mass m we do not have in the left hand side and we do not have in the right hand side term also. So, fundamental quantity terms mass m is equal to 0 on both sides. And next comparing the terms length L. So, here we have uh, on left hand side we do not have any term. So, 0 is equal to on right hand side we have two terms of L that is L power A that means power A and next on uh, one more term L power B. So, A plus B. So, A plus B is equal to 0 is the one equation we got. 
and next comparing the powers of fundamental third fundamental quantity time t. So, for time t on left hand side the equation is one, one time will uh, one t will be there. So, the power is 1. So, 1 is equal to on right hand side in first quantity there will be no time and in second quantity t power minus 2 will be there. So, t power minus 2 whole power b minus 2b. So, 1 is equal to minus 2b from this b is equal to minus 1 by 2. If we substitute b is equal to minus 1 by 2 in this equation, then a is equal to minus b that is equal to minus of minus 1 by 2 that is equal to 1 by 2. So, a is equal to 1 by 2 and b is equal to minus 1 by 2. If we substitute these arbitrary constant values in the basic equation we have, then we got the fundamental uh, expression, uh, so expression for the time period t. So, t is equal to k multiplies by L power a in place of a I can write 1 by 2 and g power b in place of b I can write minus 1 by 2. So, from this time period t is equal to k multiplies by root of L by g. So, where root becomes 1 by 2. So, this is the ultimate expression they ask us to find out the for time period t. So, this, this method is very simple uh, to solve the problems, just we have to know uh, what is the basic formula uh, that means this is the basic formula we written and after that for each and every term we have to know the fundamental quantities and from that fundamental quantities we have to compare on both left hand and right hand to get the arbitrary constant values. Later after getting the arbitrary constants, we have to resubstitute in the first equation, then we get the expression for the dependent variable. So, this is the problem. In next video, we will see one more problem.